The novel coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, is made up of RNA and proteins. At present, nucleic acid tests and serology tests are most common methods to detect coronavirus. NAT methods include RT-PCR, genome sequencing, and isothermal amplification, among which RT-PCR is most widely used. Specimens from respiratory tract are collected for detection of viruses' RNA, so as to confirm whether one is infected with coronavirus. With very high specificity, if a NAT shows positive result, the infection can be confirmed. However, when NAT shows negative result, the possibility of false negative should be considered. False negative is first caused by sampling problem. SARS-CoV-2 mainly locates in lower respiratory tract, but specimens from there are difficult to be collected. Actually, specimens for NAT are commonly collected from upper respiratory tract, such as throat or nasal swab. Inadequate virus number in a specimen collected may result in a false negative. Furthermore, NAT not only requires high standard laboratories and well-trained operators, but is time-consuming as well. Therefore, NAT is difficult to be carried out in primary health care units. To overcome the limitations of NAT and improve the efficacy and accuracy of diagnosis, it's necessary to introduce antibody tests as complement. When one is infected with coronavirus, his immune system will be mobilized to produce antibodies that attack the virus. IgM and and IgG are most commonly used antibodies to diagnose the virus infection. Detection of these two classes of antibodies can not only help to diagnose COVID-19, but also understand the disease stages as well as one's immunity status to coronavirus. Antibody test and NAT are different methods which can verify and complement with each other. A combined use of them may provide more comprehensive and accurate information for the clinical diagnosis. Antibodies are produced one to two weeks after infection, so the appearance of antibodies is later than that of RNA. IgM antibody starts to rise three to five days after symptom onset and peaks in one to two weeks. Then it goes down and disappears about one month after disease onset. Appearance of IgM indicates a recent infection of the virus. IgG antibody appears a little bit later than IgM. Once it appears, it will rise continuously and lasts in human body for months or even years. When the disease develops to convalescence period, IgM will convert from positive to negative, while IgG will be constantly positive. In such case, if RNA is tested twice as negative and symptoms disappear, the COVID-19 patient is less infective and can be discharged from the hospital. Lateral flow immunoassay is the most simple, rapid, and easy to use method for antibody testing. Serum, plasma, or whole blood can be used as a sample for LiveZone's test kit. Simple test procedure is adding sample and diluent. Result can be visually viewed after 15 minutes. There are four possible result patterns for antibody testing as below. Physicians will interpret the results professionally according to the actual situation. When IgM and IgG are both negative, it may indicate that one is not infected with coronavirus. But it may also be an early infection case during the window period. The antibody should be tested consecutively. If both IgM and IgG remain negative after two weeks, the infection can be excluded. When IgM positive and IgG negative, it might be an early infection case whose antibody should be tested and monitored consecutively. If IgG converts from negative to positive, the patient may be confirmed as infection. If IgG is repeatedly tested as negative, IgM may be indicated as false positive. When IgM and IgG are both positive, the patient is most probably be infected with the virus. Combined with symptoms and CT scanning, one can be confirmed as COVID-19 case. When IgM negative and IgG positive, it might be a past infection case who has got recovered or a late infection case who is getting recovery. IgM disappears and IgG remains positive. However, if IgG remains to be weak positive with a consecutive testing, the possibility of false positive should be considered.
One thing should be reminded again. There's a gap between the date of infection and that of antibody appearance, which is called window period. So negative result of antibody testing in this period cannot exclude the possibility of infection. Meanwhile, antibody testing may be interfered with various factors. Very few cases of false positive results cannot be avoided. Therefore, it's important to keep a consecutive testing of antibodies. Rapid antibody tests can be carried out in various level hospitals and clinics without the requirement of high standard laboratory, complicated instrument, or special training. As a conclusion, to combat with COVID-19, we should use diagnostic tests scientifically as following. 1. Nucleic acid test and antibody test may verify and complement with each other. 2. IgM and IgG should be tested at the same time. 3. Consecutive tests of antibodies greatly help to improve the test accuracy and distinguish the disease stages. 